Hello YouTube, this is Atlanta to Dallas Aviation with another video for you. Uh, today's video is part one of two and uh, as you can kind of see here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we are going to be doing uh, the Delta uh, onward and upward livery and um, it's, it's in two parts because I really have a, a lot of these models um, and uh, it was not, uh, it, A, I do 30 minute videos and B, there were just a lot of them and I couldn't fit them all up here. Um, but the main reason was I didn't think I could do uh, all of them in 30 minutes. So what I've done here is I've broken it up into uh, RJ's, RJ's and Boeing's, and then part two is going to be Airbus. All right, so this is my collection. So this is a fleet video, and I chose to do a fleet video on uh, Delta onward and upward livery. Uh, actually, one of them won't be, that won't be the case, but um, it was it was part of onward and upward livery, so um, I'm including that because it's a, a modern flying um, uh, aircraft in the Delta fleet. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get on to it. Um, as I was setting these up, I was finding out that my... My database is evidently not complete um, or or when I was filtering it down to just have uh, onward and upward aircraft um, evidently I don't have all of them um, labeled appropriately I thought I had all my models in the database um, so I'm going to have to go back and look. Um, but in this video, um, I had one, um, I think I only had one that uh, wasn't on my sheet. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get to it. And this is, this is the one that's not on my sheet. So this is a CRJ 700 uh, operated by Comair, and uh, I again since since it wasn't on my list initially, uh, I I looked up all these to see what year it was showing that these were created, not necessarily released, but created. Um, so I don't exactly know when this one was but it was probably fairly modern so one crj 700 in the onward and upward livery then i have four starting with this one here we have four crj 900s um in in order that that you see them from uh, left to right um, the first one is the 2021 release which sorry that is not correct that is not I'm uh, I'm sorry the, the first one you see there is the um, 2008 release operated by Comair um, and then the next one is the truly disastrous 2021 release uh, operated by sky west and then the other two were the or the more recent uh releases 2024 um and i feel bamboozled uh but it would appear that these are just these are the same as the 2021 release just it has a different registration number so I was thinking that maybe this one was going to be uh, done better. So I got two of them. Um, but 
what was a little bit better so the horizontal stabilizer was better i mean i mean look at this horizontal stabilizer that is horrible this one not quite as bad but you can kind of see it and then the one on the end looks more like the calm air one uh, but um, the reason i feel bamboozled is that the main landing gear uh, are the exact same as the 2021 release so they're way too close together fortunately you don't really see them much uh, when they're on display or even when you're doing videos so they're kind of hidden and i don't feel comfortable trying to take those wheels off and uh, gluing them back the way they're supposed to look so anyway so we are going to move on to our next subject. And here you can see a double of the Embraer 175LR. And uh, I, I did get two of these also because this was the first time they ever put it out. And who knows when or if they'll put out uh, another another tail number so I decided to go ahead and get two of these uh, just in case um, the same with the CRJ 900 the last set that was released I got two of those so those uh, and both those were uh, according to the database I was looking at uh, they were uh, put out or at least created in 2023 even though I believe they were announced in 2024 they were evidently already made in 2023 all right moving on the next set we have is the Boeing 717 200 also known as the MD 95 and we have two of these but they're not uh, the they're not the same tail number so the first one you see the one closest to you is the 2016 release and the one further away is the updated uh, mold um, I don't know if you can see take a really close look at those noses I, I could probably get a little bit closer but those noses are definitely different um, so and the the other thing is that the newer release in 2023 has aerials or at least an aerial I don't think there's any on the bottom and then I, I don't know what else is new if anything about that mold but it's definitely an updated mold because the nose is noticeably different especially if you look uh, from on top of it all right moving on all right moving on this is the Delta Airline 737-700 and it was uh, at least created, if not released, in 2008. This is the only one that I have because shortly after I got this, uh, Delta... Well, if I got it in 2008, it, it, it was probably... I don't remember when I bought it. The release or creation date was 2008. I may or may not have gotten it then, but... Um, I know for sure that uh, Delta um, retired those. So that's the first retired Boeing that we have in the fleet. All right, and while I'm getting this all set here for our next set of 737s, uh, I'd like to uh, ask if you're enjoying any of my videos, this video in particular, if, you, if you're enjoying it, please consider leaving a like. 
And if you enjoy several of my videos, please consider subscribing. Please uh, share uh, if you will. And if you have any of these uh, models and would like to comment, I would love to hear your comments on, on these models. All right. So, we're moving on to the 737-800s now. I got four of those. And here's where we have the uh, special livery one for Sky Team. But anyway, so the first one to the left here, this one right here, that is from Gemini Jets. Um, uh, yeah, Gemini Jets. And it was a 2019 release. And uh, if I had a better angle, I don't know if you can really tell from the angle that I'm shooting this from, but you can kind of see the wing flex on this. So uh, it was a little bit before they improved their wing, wing flex. All right, so beyond that one, moving to the right, we have our first uh, NG model. And this one is the 2020 release. And then the Sky Team release uh, from NG Models was uh, released 2023. I'm sorry, that's not correct. It was released in 2020. So at the same time as the one next to it, um, to the left was uh, released. So I guess it was sort of a set, if you will. And then, I'm sorry, and then the 2023 release is, uh, is the first uh, Delta 737-800 with split scimitars. And interestingly enough, the uh, aircraft number on that, on, on this model with the split scimitars is the same as the Gemini jet release right here. So I'm not real happy about that, but uh, I can still kind of pass it off as two different airplanes. One has regular winglets and one has split scimitars. So, so I can accept that. All right, so the next three, all right, these three here, uh, these are 737-900ERs. I have three of these, and they're all uh, different uh, reg numbers. Uh, the first one is, is NG Models, and it was a 2021 release. And the next two are Gemini Jet releases. Uh, the one in the middle is, is 2019, and the one at the end is 2023. All right, moving on to our next retired airplane. The 747-400. Now, of course, Gemini Jets has released several of these. Um, I'm not sure that this was the most recent one. I don't think it was. Um, but this one was supposedly released in 2017. Uh, and that's the only one I got. Um, I, and I actually got it because Delta had announced that they were going to retire them. And I think that was a retirement before the pandemic. So I needed to get, so this was the next one that they released, uh, after Delta had announced that they were retiring them. So I had to get myself one, uh, so I didn't miss out, but that's the only one that I have. All right, moving on to the 757s. Now I have several NG 757-200s. Uh, uh, the one that I have, actually I may only have one. The one that I have is the classic widget and it was already, uh, I already have a fleet video that has that one in it. But these, 
These 757s, they're both um, next generation or NG models. Uh, the first one, which has winglets on it, uh, was a 2022 release. It's an old TWA bird. And the one next to it that doesn't have winglets that are, if I recall, these are used uh, for charter. So any, anytime you see the non-wingletted versions, I think they're charter. I think they're all charter. I don't think there's any passenger service uh, 757s without winglets. But this one was a 2019 release. And I believe it was an old U.S. Airbird, even though I was not aware that they had the Pratt Whitney's on their 757s. But anyway, so moving on, we have a pair of 757-300s. The one closest to us, now both of these are, are Gemini Jets. Um because of course, uh, NG is just now getting into the 757-300. So I don't have any 757-300s from NG yet. Um, or actually, I, I take that back. I think I actually do, but it's United. I'm not sure if I've seen a Delta one yet released from them. But anyway, so these two are Gemini Jets and they are both 2022 releases just one was earlier in the year and the other one was later in the year but evidently or at least at the very early part of the next year so those are pretty close together but they are two different uh, tail numbers moving on from there my only uh, 767 300 that is in this livery. I have several of them in past liveries. I just don't have, this is the only one, and I got this one recently. This one was the, uh, was the Gemini Jets uh, 2023 release. Uh, so, and if I, if I remember correctly, I think this was the most recent release. If it's not, it's the second most recent release. And I do plan on getting uh, the one announced from NG, but uh, the one here is represented by uh, CF6 engines. And supposedly NG is putting out a CF6 engine version and a Pratt Whitney, Pratt Whitney 4000? I can't remember if, Pratt, if it was a Pratt Whitney 4000, but it's whatever is on the uh, uh, 767 400. Um, so I, I'm getting that one um, since I have limited funds. So I will get a 767 300 with the Pratt and Whitney engines on it uh, since this one is the uh, CFM engines or CF6 engine. All right, so talking about Pratt and Whitney, here is the 767-400 from Panda Models. Uh, I just did a uh, unveiling video on this one and the one that was in United um, uh, Evo Blue scheme. Uh, it looks really nice. I think they did a good job on it, but I haven't done it in depth. Uh, it is definitely better than the uh, Gemini, just from what I've seen of the Gemini one, not what I've heard, what I've seen of the Gemini 767-400. Um, they got the old pylons and old engines on them, and it doesn't sit right uh, on its gear. And uh, I, I do have the Dragon Wings version of this, and I would have to agree with yesterday's airlines. Uh, the, the Dragon Wings one, while not mega superior over the Gemini Jets, it is still slightly better. 
So, um, but of course, Jim, uh, Dragon Wings isn't around anymore. So um, we only had Jim and I and old Dragon Wings to choose from until Panda. And now also NG Models is putting out a uh, Evo Blue uh, version for their June releases. So that's exciting. All right. Um, let's see. Make sure I didn't forget to tell you something about this. No? Okay. So it was announced in 2023, but I didn't receive mine till 2024. So I, I don't know. Uh, the database I was looking at, which is on Waffle Collectibles website, um, said 2023. Um, I don't know if it was actually manufactured, but I didn't get mine until 2024, um, even though it says it was a 2023 release. All right. Last but certainly not least, our single triple seven two hundred LR. This is also by Gemini Jets, um, and it's the only one I have in this livery. I have several in past liveries, but this is the only one I have in the onward and upward livery. Um, and it was a 2018 release. And uh, part of the reason I got this one was because it's named David C. Garrett Jr., who was the Delta CEO late 70s and early 80s, middle 80s maybe. I, I, I meant to look this up for this video, but I totally forgot. And today that I'm, I'm videoing this, I have a partial power outage. So uh, the thing that provides my Wi-Fi um, connection is not in a plug or anything that still has power. So it's down and several rooms uh, don't have any power at all. Some have power in parts of the room, but not other parts of the room. And then like the room I'm filming this in apparently has full um full power. So I d decided to do this in here. So anyway, that does it for part one of the onward and upward liveries. Uh, so this was uh, RJ's and Boeing fleet. The part two will have uh, the Airbus and the, yeah, I mean, well, it's Airbus, but um, similar to uh, the 717 originally being McDonnell Douglas, uh, there will be A220s in the next one, which is really Canadair or Bombardier, I guess. Um, so, but they'll be part of Airbus since they are now called Airbus. And that will, but that will do it for part one. Um, so, like I said, uh, please consider leaving a like. Please consider subscribing. Uh, I would love to read your comments. If anything that, even though I did my, thought I did my research, if my research is wrong, uh, please correct me in the comments and, and let me know. Um, but that'll do it. And until part two, happy collecting.